Hello everyone, this is Data Science Crash Course, episode one, after introduction. So welcome to the course. Uh, and we'll be talking about downloading Anaconda today. Uh, that's the most important part. Uh, so you, if you're starting with Python, then uh, the first thing you should do is download Anaconda. Just enter Anaconda Python in Google and find that. Uh, it's available on uh, both Windows, Linux and Mac. Uh, it's a great tool because it gives it comes with all the uh, all the packages that you will need uh, at first. Uh, so if you download Anaconda uh, on your laptop, then the next thing is to open Jupyter Notebook. Uh, so notebooks are basically the tools to qu quickly compile all the necessary code you need, uh, and it's really it's, it's it's really easy to use. It's basically as you were using a text editor. It's really fun to use because you can see the results all the um, very quickly already in notebook. You don't have to quit it. Uh, it's really fast. So Anaconda is really the best for that. Of course, there are many different compilers uh, to start with. I, I could say something about Atom, uh, the SpyCharm. There are a couple of other things which are also used wi widely, but I think for the beginners, Anaconda is doing a great job. And then just Anaconda and Jupyter Lab, Jupyter Notebook, that, that's perfect thing. So the next thing to do in this very, very first things you will do with Python is actually to play around with different libraries and modules. So Python is really about importing different stuff, different core pieces, uh, and those are, those, those are called libraries. Mostly you will install them through the terminal. Uh, if you don't have them prepackaged in Anaconda, most of them you have. Uh, so if you want to install something, you just enter pip install and the name of the library. Uh, it's really simple, it's just one comment. Uh, and also this is the knowledge you can, you can Google online. Uh, the crucial part is you have to know the name of uh, what, what you're exactly going to import and then it just import it directly to your computer. You can use it start, uh, already right away. Uh, the way you import it into the Python is if you're in your Jupyter notebook, you just import and the name of the, uh, you, you write import and the name of the library. That's it. It's very simple. So the very first thing I want you to do is to uh, create a, a notebook and try to play around with uh, plotting very simple things in Python. So uh, the library for that is uh, matplotlib. You should import matplotlib and then try to enter like uh, build a simple graph which shows a, a couple of entries I don't know of like how the corn supply is changing through the years. Uh, in the, for example, in the United States, this is the kind of the knowledge you can find on the uh, on the web, on the internet. Download those data. Just enter everything manually. We're not talking about importing uh, ready-to-use files uh, right now. We'll talk about that later on, and then th this will be a very helpful example. But right now, just don't worry about that. Read about matplotlib and start plot very simple data because I think this is like very uh, satisfying in the first thing in the first place that you can see exactly what results are you, you, the results of what you're doing right away and it's really great so have fun with that uh, hopefully everything is uh, clear because that, that's the most basic part and we'll be moving to the next part which is basically mathematics and statistics that you will need for data science and machine learning in the next episode. Thank you for watching.